The nine members of parliament voted against this motion, with only 103 voting for it. The DA called for the motion based on President Jacob Zuma's alleged close relationship with the Gupta family. Meanwhile, during a debate on the student fee crisis, earlier the IFP said that the parliament must focus on the higher education crisis in South Africa. The party wants a parliamentary ad hoc committee established to come up with solutions. Most parties condemned violent acts by students on campuses. Education up in smoke. Scenes at the University of KZN this week. There were also violent clashes with authorities last year. Tertiary education fees at the core of their frustrations. The IFP is looking for a resolution. But the duty and responsibility rests on this House to carry on its shoulders the aspirations of the youth of South Africa. Honorable Speaker, therefore, in the coming days I'll be moving in that this House establishes in terms of Rule 253 an ad hoc committee to look at all the issues related to the fees crisis and determine concrete solutions thereof. Higher Education Portfolio Committee Chair Connie September admits that government is grappling to find a sustainable model. It's quite clear at this juncture is the fact that social demands with respect to higher education are intensifying. Indeed, as the ANC, we continue to state the correctness of the Freedom Charter that says that the doors of learning and culture must be open and in doing so, the increased access and participation for all, but especially the poor, must remain cardinal in our entire endeavour. Only the state can afford to provide the core funding for a quality higher education system. Why is this so hard to accept? But when it comes to higher education, the Treasury doors are closed. Proper prioritising by a government when they stop looting and all the dodgy things that they do, this government can easily get the money and put an end to the crisis of education here in South Africa. The National Freedom Party believes that the ideal of free quality education in our country is indeed a possibility and that can be attained. We are also aware that there is indeed a crisis in our education the state and the universities are under siege and we're facing huge challenges in our education system. At the peak of all this is leadership that lacks anticipation manifested by a reactionary approach than proactive nature of government priorities and is threatening the stability of the education system. But the regering has made for two fouten gemaakt in the regering. First is it unverantwoordelijk om verwachtingen te scheppen van gratis onderwijs als het niet praktisch mogelijk is. Nie. Mistake of creating expectations. At the ANC's Polokwane Conference in 2007, the party resolved to progressively introduce free education for poor. At Mangoon Conference in 2012, it resolved that the policy for free higher education would be finalized for adoption before the end of 2013. In its recent submission to the Fees Commission, the Treasury said a 0% increase in 2017 was not budgeted for and was unaffordable given the economic climate. So much surely from this I must deduct that the political will to implement a progressively policy for free education and that the ANC factions were never really there to do that. To our students, I want to say, do not burn your future. Remember these wise words, the pen is mightier than the sword. I thank you. The ACDP is saddened and disappointed at the torching of the law library at the University of KwaZulu-Natal and calls on Higher Education Minister Bladen Zamandi to respond by demonstrating that these actions will have serious consequences while engaging with students in general on issues of concern. We are very much worried about the burning and destruction of property by the students. This is very much unbecoming on the part of them and we condemn this behavior as AIC. No, really, no real anticipatory leadership has been forthcoming, a manifestation of the reactionary rather than proactive nature of government policies. The Higher Education and Training Ministry acknowledged the problem of underfunding. A call has been made by our students for a no-fee hike in 2017, particularly in light of the fact that the, ju the Judicial Commission of Inquiry appointed by the president and mandated to investigate the modalities of phasing in free higher education for the poor will only conclude its work next year. In this connection, 
We have successfully concluded discussions with university heads and executives, labor, student leaders, and we are now gathering further views from other stakeholders, including Treasury, before proceeding with uh, the announcement. Manana also condemned students who were involved in the violence which played out at UKZN earlier this week. Abra Barbia, SABC News, Parliament. Now, those involved in the destruction of property at the University of Cos